Do you? Did you yep. set it good? Yep. Oh, Peter got, oh, that's a good one, Peter. Hold on. I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you are already subscribed, allow me to say, hola pescaditos, welcome back to the channel. You see what happens when you subscribe, you get a bilingual greeting. Uh, anyways, we're back in the garage, so you know that means today we're going to be trying to assemble something else. And what it is that we're going to be making is a drill propeller. Um, if you don't know what that is, or if you haven't seen one before, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a propeller that you operate with a cordless drill. So uh, we're going to need a couple things to make it, but it should be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'll overlay uh, a shot of the materials that we're talking about here, but uh, you obviously need a cordless drill. Um, you're going to need, for the way that I'm building it, a uh, propeller, uh, which you can just pick up at Walmart. I have a plastic one that has a 3 8 um, size, I guess, shaft hole. I don't know what you call it in it. Uh, you'll need a 3 8 uh, four foot long aluminum pole. Um, a rod, I guess, would probably be a better terminology for that. Um, a couple of nuts, a couple of washers, and you're going to need a thread die and a tool to operate a thread die that is sized for whatever nuts you pick out. Um, so we're going to get started. The first thing I got to do is create threads on the rod, and honestly, after that, you just assemble it, and it should be good to go. Then we're going to we're going to test it out and see if it works more efficiently or less efficiently than simply paddling. So stay tuned. I've never done this before. I use one of these, so hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, but as far as I understand, I use this die and just put it on there, make sure everything's squared up right, and start cranking down on it. So we're about to find out. All right, I think that's good. This definitely comes off easier than it went on. Oh, we can't get the camera to focus on the threads, but rest assured they look like hot garbage. Alright, from here on out with the threads on there, we, hopefully it's long enough, but you know, I can always throw it back on there and throw it further than I need to. But moment of truth, we're going to see if we can assemble this into a, uh, a propeller, so let's make sure. Yep, it uh, screws on, that's always a good sign. But I'm just going to do a, a, a washer kind of down here to the bottom. It won't go any further than the bottom, obviously, because there's no threads for it to go into. So I'll back this all the way down as far as it'll go. And then take one of the washers, drop it on there. Next, our propeller goes on. And next washer goes on and I might need to do the threads a little bit further because I don't know if you can see that or not I don't have a whole lot for this this nut to grab onto um, just to be safe yeah, it's only going about half one there so I'm gonna back it everything off um, put the die back on there do the threads about another quarter inch down maybe a little bit further reassemble it and we'll see what it looks like all right, well, that's it. Easy enough. A um, couple nuts, a couple washers, a rod, and a propeller. So the next thing we would do, obviously, is you would take this with your cordless drill. Make sure that you get it seated in there right. A little bit hard to do with a, uh, with a uh, four foot long rod. And then get this bad boy in the water. I think it's gonna work okay. We're gonna we're gonna take it out of the water here in a minute and give it a shot and see how it does compared to paddle. Stay tuned. Well, everyone, we made it out to the water. We're gonna find out what this drill propeller can do. Do a little bit of fishing as well. It's uh, rained a little bit, but not too bad. So hopefully we don't melt and hopefully it'll. Hold off, it looks pretty clear. I think we'll be all right. But uh, anyways, I want to kind of see how this thing compares to just paddling around. And uh, so we'll, we'll maybe we'll do a little, little speed comparison test. So stay tuned. Okay, we got the drill propeller. We're going to give it a go here and see what we can do. I'm going to give you just a little bit of a bump that way. So I'll go into you, but let's see what kind of power this baby has. I, I kind of don't like it that it's right there on the... Uh, 
We're moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so initial initial impression. It's way more powerful than I thought it was going to be. Like, when you crank it all the way up, it really gets moving. Um, the only con I can think of right now is it's a little hard to steer, but I really don't care because it's that much fun to shoot around on. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Um, I don't know how long the battery would last on it, which I'm definitely about to find out how long it'll last. Uh, but this thing is awesome. It kicks up the, the dirt and the water a whole bunch, so probably not the best way to get around a small pond if you want to fish, because um, it's definitely probably scaring some fish off. Uh, but like, if you wanted to cross like a big a big lake or something, get to the other side, like I would definitely pack this thing on the kayak. This is so much fun. So I'm going to paddle around on a little bit more and then maybe maybe we'll actually do some fishing tonight. <laughs> too much fun. Peter's out here on it now. <laughs> Just going ham, man. This thing is so much fun. I don't even know if we're going to do any fishing today because we're probably just going to burn this battery out, which is probably going to happen in the next few minutes. So. <laughs> My kayak, my kayak has like, there's a wake from him going by me. It's moving me. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Definitely worth the time invested. I mean, it didn't take, you know, didn't take 10 minutes to put together. Um, super simple, super fun, man. Like, you should, if, you, if you're just like, ah, you know, I'd like to have a motor for my kayak, you know, or, you know, uh, it's a little hard to paddle across this whole lake to get to the spot I like to fish. I definitely think this is the move. This is super cool. Well, anyways, we're going to do a little bit of fishing. Um, if I catch anything, I'll throw it after this. If we don't, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Certified Dinks. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. All right, hold on, Peter. What just happened? Because I wasn't rolling just yet. It slipped off. So, if we were to do this again, we would probably... I think we probably need to shave down the end so the chuck will be a little bit yeah. tighter on the end of it. So... Well, great. So now we're going to do some fishing, but we're going to be fishing for uh, my drill propeller since Peter just lost it in the lake. Although, to be fair, it's definitely not the most expensive thing that I've lost in a lake, uh, considering my last iPhone is sitting at the bottom of the pond right now, but maybe we can recover this one. <laughs> I was just telling him, I'm like, let me get some B-roll of you uh, paddling around or you know swimming around on the uh, with the drill propeller. He said he got the steering figured out, and uh, then it promptly went into the water, so... Oh well. Got one. Do you? Did you yep. said it good? Yep. Oh, Peter got. Oh, that's a good one, Peter. Hold on. Hey, leave him down in the water. Don't let him flat thrash like that. All the way in the water. All the way in the 
All the way in water, keep pressure on him. I'm coming to you with a net. We'll net him and I'll get him for you. All the way down the water, don't let him thrash. Yo, the, you, you just shattered your PB. All right, I'm coming to you, hold on. Um, here, bring him to your, yeah, your side over there. Uh, oh. Oh, dude, that's a good fish. That's a good one. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get you to bring him over to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. I'm moving. I got you, I got you. There. Keep him tight, keep him tight, keep him tight, keep him tight. Oh, oh, we got him. Yo, this is a good fish, man. Come here. <laughs> All right, Peter just shattered his PB here. This is not the second fish that he's caught. Look at this guy. That's a good, that's gotta be, that's that's well into the threes, buddy. He might be pushing four. Uh, he's got a pretty good belly, dude. That's that's a four pound fish. Drop him in the water, swish him around a little bit. Hold him by his mouth. Yeah, go ahead and just hold him by his mouth. Let him get his bearings and. All right, you should be good. Is he not going anywhere? Give him a little rub on his belly. There you yeah, go. he's good. <laughs> Dude, for your second fish, that is a good fish. You're gonna be disappointed the rest of this <laughs> the rest of this fishing uh, afternoon here, he's about to be really disappointed. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe we can find one bigger than that. That was awesome. <laughs>